Well, it seems that there are a lot of people who are trying to put the sole blame of the adpocalypse, this latest one, on Carlos Maza and Vox. I mean, if you look at the hashtag, it's Vox Adpocalypse. And I'm just like, how are you blaming Vox and Carlos Maza for all of these channels getting demonetized? Oh, well, they were, they were letting YouTube know, and, and that, that kicked YouTube into place to do this. What, you don't think YouTube had been planning on doing another adpocalypse for a long time, and Carlos just happened to be in the right place at the right time? Do you really think this is all because of Carlos Maza? Wow. I mean, Carlos Maza was going after one channel. He was also saying that uh, YouTube in general allows for a lot of anti-gay material and doesn't do anything about it. But most of the channels that got demonetized were saying things that could be interpreted as promoting white supremacy. Um, and when did Carlos Maza say anything about that? You know, he was talking about gay issues. So it just, it just seems very unrealistic to blame Carlos Maza on all this stuff. I know it's, it's very easy to be angry at a person rather than angry at a company. It's easier to show your anger because you have this one thing to actually blame on. You can blame it on a person. I'm angry now, right? But is, is it realistic? To me, it's not. You know, it's, it's also not realistic for to expect that the companies that put out ads themselves, the, the companies that make ads and distribute ads, should be the ones to decide whether or not their, their ads will show on particular people's videos. I'm like, you think, you think these ad companies are going to spend <laughs> hundreds if not thousands of hours watching and trying to, to screen through uh, YouTube videos to see whether or not they want their ads on those particular people's videos? That's unrealistic, too. It's up to YouTube to, to do that. And yes, sometimes YouTube has to, to get notified that, hey, look at these videos. Are these really appropriate for ads? I mean, either way, it's, it's, it's looking like a bad scenario for anyone who wants to make money on YouTube through uh, monetization through the ads. It's not looking very good for, for the whole platform in that regard. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, when it comes to having good material out there that isn't just trying to, to make a buck, you know, it, YouTube was kind of ruined by them even allowing for monetization. You know, how can you tell the difference between someone just putting out videos to make money and someone putting out videos because they're actually passionate about what they're talking about, you know? Anyway, um, the main thing I want to say in this video, though, is why blame all of this on Carlos Maza? It kind of reminds me of how Sandman... What, what was his first name? The, 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 the one wearing the MAGA hat and the, and the Native American and the, uh, that whole scenario. I can't remember what, what college, no, not college, what high school that was, uh, Covenant. Covenant? Anyway, I just think about that scenario and how before people knew all the facts, people, including myself, were saying, oh, that kid has a really punchable face, Right? You know, so people are saying, blaming this on Carlos Maza before they even know all the facts. They're just, oh, well, he was the last one to talk with, with Google that we can see on Twitter, and it was made public, so he must be the reason. I think he was just in the, the wrong place at the wrong time, and, and Google was already planning on doing an adpocalypse as it was. And that's probably why they were they were responding to people who were telling them to look at their policies a little bit more, you know? Because they were about to make a change. 
Now, if you feel otherwise and you have some reason that actually makes sense as to why we should put more of the blame on Carlos Maza, then then go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm, I'm very curious as to what your, what your theories are. Thanks.